Hi guys, I am Muchokwa Ellen Tangenu with Meds XYZ and today in this lesson I will be taking you through a continuation on simple decay and simple growth in financial mathematics. Remember in the previous lesson I have introduced you to these two equations which are the first one is for the simple growth and the second one is for the simple decay. The simple decay and growth, they are also known as the straight line method in financial mathematics, of which for the first one is when your investment is increasing in value, and the second one is when you have made a loss and your investment, and they are actually depreciating in value. All right, we'll just go straight into a question and see which equation to use uh, and how to use it, and also to know how to choose an equation to use in financial mathematics. Uh, the, equation, the question says, determine the simple interest rate if an investment of 20000 is worth 30800 after three years. So this 20000 here is our principal value, which is equals to P in this equation. And, and 30800 is our A, which is the final amount. And three years is actually the number of years that the investment took in an account. Then from 20,000 to 30,800, we know that that's an increase, that's a growth. So from these two equations, we can simply choose that the equation that we're going to use to answer this question is the equation of simple growth because the investment has increased during this three-year period. Then here the question says we must find the simple interest rate, which is I. Then we can just uh, choose, after choosing the equation, which is A is equals to P, into 1 minus i n you can always choose to make i the subject to the formula or you can just uh then um, substitute the values into the equation and then you will make i the subject of the formula at the end of the equation either way it still works then let's uh substitute everything into the equation and see how uh what we will get for the interest rate in this case then our a here as i've already said that is the final amount which is thirty thousand eight hundred. This person, after uh, three years, they will receive 30800 into their account. That is 10800 more to the original investment which was made. Then here, they will, it's 20000 which is our principal or the initial amount which was invested. Then it will be 1 minus IN, of which N is 3, and our I, that's what we're looking for. And then dividing both sides by 20000 Dividing both sides by 20,000, this will cancel out, and then let's see what we'll find outside. When you are uh, solving financial mathematic problems, remember not to uh, round off when you are still solving the problem. It's better to round off when you are at the end of the, of the question. This is 1,54, it's equals to 3 minus, oh, sorry guys, it's a growth. This is a plus, I've said it, I don't know why I didn't write it down. It's plus because the interest, the, the the investment has increased. It's a one plus i n, which is the equation of simple growth. Then here we're gonna have. Um, sorry, I made a mistake. It's my mistake then. Then we'll have one plus three i. Then to have i as our subject to the formula, we're gonna have, we're gonna have i. Sorry guys, we're gonna have i is equals to one one comma five four minus one divided by Three. This is when we multiply by 100 because the interest rate is in percentage. That's why we multiply it by 100. Then this will be 1,54 minus 1 divided by 3 multiplied by 100. That will give us 18%. This is 18%. So this person was receiving 18, well, uh, the investment was increasing with 18% for each and every year. That's why after three years, this person actually managed to get 10,800 more compared to the original uh, investment which was made of 20,000. All right, I hope you guys now understand how to get the interest rate if you are given a question like this. For example, if they said the investment of 20,000 is now worth, let's say 10,000 after three years, then the equation that you're gonna use for this, that case, it would have been the simple uh, decay because the investment would have decreased over the years. But then in this case, it has increased. That's why we chose the simple growth equation. Then let's just go straight into the last two questions and see how we'll solve that. All right. 
In this case, the first question says, how long will it take an investment or to half in value if it depreciate at a rate of 12.5% per annum on a straight line method? Remember I told you that the straight line method is also uh, known as the simple uh, simple interest method, which is the simple decay or growth method. Then here they have already told us that the value, the, 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 the investment that was made is actually depreciated and it depreciated him with 12.5% per annum on a straight line method. So the equation that we will use for this case is obviously the simple decay because that's where the investment uh, decreases in value. Then here we have our A. We know the standard equation for that is A is equals to P into 1 minus I N. All right. Then here they are asking how long will it take an investment to half in value. That means that we are looking for N, which is the period time. Then here to half its value, then that means that if my investment was X originally, then now that is depreciating and it will be half in value in the year that we will be calculating at, then it will be X over to its half the value of the of the principal, which is the initial amount which was invested. Then here we're going to have 1 minus 12.5% 12.5% which is also 12 divided by 100 and what we're looking for is the period which is equals to n then here we're gonna have uh, x divided by 2 divide by 2 again because uh, I will divide both sides by x sorry I will divide both, both sides by x of which this will cancel out with that and here we'll be left with x over 2 divided by x which will be equals to 1 minus 12.5 over 100 n all right, then here we're going to have uh, x over 2. Let me just do it on the side. It will be x over 2 multiplied by 1 over x, of which this will cancel out and we'll be left with 1 over 2. All right, with 1 over 2, I will have 12,5 uh, um, 12, 12 divided by 100 as the subject to the formula. That means that it has to go to the other side. Then here I'm going to have 12,5 over 100 n it's equals to 1 minus 1 over 2. Then here dividing by 12,5 both sides, I will be left with, um, let's see that it's 1. 1 minus 1 over 2 is actually 0, 0,5 as well. Then I will have 12,5% and I will be left with 4 years. So it will take 4 years for the investment which was made to be half its original amount when it has been depreciating with 12,5% annum so that's what we got we got four years and then it will be half its original amount then here the second or uh, the, the third question which is the last it says if an investment of eight thousand and twelve percent per annum sorry it says uh and twelve percent simple interest simple interest per annum determine the value of the investment after five years so what we are given here in this question we are given an investment which is the principal or the initial amount and 12 percent is our interest rate and five years it's our period or time then for this case we're given every parameter that we need what we need to find is a which is the final amount that this person will receive after a period of five years then here we know that here it will be the simple growth, which is I N there, and our original amount, which is the initial, is 8,001 plus I N, our I is 12%, which is 12 over 100, multiplied by 5 years. And here we're going to have, just punching it into a calculator, we'll have 8,000 into 1 plus 12%, multiplied by 5. Then this... Sorry guys, 12% multiplied by 5, which is equal to 12,800 rands. Then this person, that means that they have gained, minus the original they have, this person has gained 4,800 in the period of 5 years if the investment has been increasing with 12% each and every year. I hope you guys understood this lesson on simple decay and simple growth which is also known as the straight line method and you can now um, confidently answer question in financial mathematics when uh, it's to, in, in the case of simple decay and simple growth methods. Alright guys if you didn't uh, please just put it in the comment then we'll get back to you and explain more further. 
and also if you haven't subscribed to Max XYZ channel please do so so that you'll be able to get notification when we upload videos thank you